Nigeria is perhaps the fastest urbanizing country in African continent. One of the most important challenges facing the country is the provision of affordable housing. This report will take a look at housing development in Nigeria from the Democratic Dispensation 1999 till date. The Obasanjo government was marked by the establishment of the Federal Ministry of Land, Housing and Urban Development and the proposal of multiple housing reforms, including the restructuring of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. These policies also became an offshoot of professional bodies like the Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria, REDAN, and the Building Materials Producers Association of Nigeria, BUMPAN. During this period, the Federal Ministry of Lands, Housing, and Urban Development was established from the then Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. The period between 2004 policy focus was on the private sector to serve as the main catalyst for housing delivery in Nigeria. While the government concentrate on the provision of basic infrastructure and housing development, issues in the Land Use Act were equally given attention for review as well as the financial structures such as the FMBN and provision of incentives to developers in form of tax holidays for five years. The Nigerian housing policy in 2006 was as a result of earlier policies and programs to adequately resolve the backlogs of housing problems in the country. This policy came up with some transitionary strategies in which government made significant efforts in partial disengagement into housing provision and encourage privately developed housing. Under the policy adjustment, such as the almatization period, which was 25 years under the previous policy, was jacked up to 30 years interest on NHF loans to PMIs were scaled down from 5% to 4% while the lending rate contributors is reduced to 6% from previous 9%. In 2007 to 2010, during Umar Musa Yaradua's administration, while there were no grandiose ambitions about housing, one of the points in his famous seven-point agenda was land reforms. While hundreds of billions of dollars have been lost through unused government-owned land assets, changes in the land laws and the emergence of land reforms is a post-optimized Nigeria's growth through the release of land for mass housing, commercialized farming, and other large-scale businesses by the private sector. Final results is supposed to assure improvements and boosts to the production and wealth creation initiatives. Unfortunately, he didn't live long enough to see this through. On 18th April 2009, when the National Technical Working Committee under the housing thematic area of the Vision 2020-20 was inaugurated, they were asked to make recommendations towards the contribution of housing towards the Vision 2020-20 goal of the federal government. Part of the major vision was to make the housing sector part of the top three major contributors to the nation's economy by adding 10 million affordable homes to the national housing stock by the year 2020. It was suggested that for Nigeria to meet up with its housing needs by the year 2020, the federal government must provide the legal and regulatory environment that would attract public-private partnership PPP. In 2012, Good luck, Jonathan announces that the federal government was committed to revolutionizing the housing sector by translating the national housing policy and national urban development policy into a roadmap for housing development in the country. In line with this, NMRC was established for mortgage refinancing with the support of World Bank. The Buhari-led administration introduced new initiatives to tackle housing delivery like the Family Homes Funds and National Housing Program with construction ongoing in about 34 states. The Federal Integrated Staff Housing in 2016 and My Own Home Scheme in 2017. With the new administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, it is, however, important to note that the government needs to focus on other components of large-scale housing developments like land, 
finance, infrastructure, building materials, and labor in order to completely achieve delivery of affordable housing in Nigeria.